Alright, hello guys, it's me, F. Koshi again. We're playing Random Breakout Challenge. Cookie Run Often Breaks City of Wizards Season. Oh, I haven't gotten this yet. Okay. Vampire Cookie, why is everyone rushing? Just relax. So, what if you come in first? Why don't you take it easy like me? If you're sad, damage from collisions will decrease and game speed will slow down by 7%. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh my god, okay, okay. Moonlight, okay. This is this is good, okay. Sure, okay. Hmm? Did I not <laughs> I have some questions. I'm pretty sure if you chose Moonlight, you got you got to have a buff to like Moonlight Charlie's but apparently not, I guess. Oh well. Is it because of a costume? That she doesn't give you this buff or Or is it because she's the first relay? Or maybe it's something else like there's only a minor chance of getting that buff from her and it's not guaranteed. So I got unlucky this time, and I didn't get it. Oh, what a pain. What a minute, I was so excited too. Oh well. The guy in front of me, you skater, cookie. 122 million. Alright. And there used to be this bug, I mean I heard it's a bug. That when you were participating in random breakout the points of the people you were challenging against wouldn't go over 4 billion or at least wouldn't go over 5 billion and honestly I want that bug to come back because nowadays it's just so hard to play random breakout challenge without feeling it like a waste of diamonds ah I hit myself whatever I didn't pay attention there for a moment. And I mean, I think you can understand the sentiment, right? You know? The more rewards, the better. Like sometimes you just get some people with crazy luck. It's just not fun at all. Like, even if the bug as it was back then, it was still pretty hard to get number one. Most of the times I would get like, I don't know, 4th, 5th place? That kind of thing. I am... Um, I mean, although I hate myself, I don't think it really matters that much. I don't think I'll retry this run again. So it should be alright. I just hope that the... Pet gives me enough HP to at least get to the bonus time. Get a suitable amount of points. We're only at number 28 so far. Not looking good, I'll be honest with you. Hey, don't just look at the amount of diamonds I have and go like that's a lot like no it's not okay I'm a free two player I don't pay for any of this stuff you know? I literally didn't spend diamonds for like months about a year or so like literally every time a new cookie came out I would only get the free stuff and use the free magic cookie keys the pool for cookies but I would never use diamonds on anything and then somehow along the way, I got to 100k plus diamonds. Alright. We might be able to hit 400. Yeah. Hopefully, this is enough to get bonus time. I mean, usually I've seen some Korean YouTubers 
when they get vampires challenged, they usually don't. One, two, ah! Well, let's just... Fantastic. You know what, let's just try this again later. Okay, as I've seen before, I've seen some Korean YouTubers. Like Jong Dex or Webbom. Yeah, let's not retry again, I guess. They don't pick vampires. Oh. They don't pick vampires buff. Mostly because. I guess because it makes it slower. I don't really mind, honestly. I like Cherry Blossom Especially her costume It looks so pretty, you know Like, you know, it has that Aesthetic Where it's like I'm a fancy little princess And I have a lot of fashion I don't know how to describe it, okay? It reminds me of like Chinese novels And then you always have those People dress them in their fancy chang pals or long long sleeve clothing. I just really like I really like it. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. Another bonus time should be around here. Well, let's try again. Alright, there we go. Bonus turn. We aren't off to a very good start, but it's alright. I'm not playing competitively after all. I mean, in some sense, this is competitive, but not really at the same time. Alright, HP potion. I have to land in the treasure, so I have to make sure to jump to get extra points. I would say cherry blossom skill would be good with above like 10,000 cherries, you know? Just like hydrangeas. So just certain cookies that give a lot, a lot of jellies during their skill activations. Alright, we're gonna jump up on it. Good timing on that circle treasure. There should be another bonus time somewhere around here. I'll be getting to it soon. You know these mentric things? They're like little babies. Imagine if babies just grew in the ground and then you could just put them out. Like you tug them out by their bald heads. Then you dissect them and use them for your experiments. Like Nate, no wonder the Mandrix want to kill us all. Or at least they want to kill wizards. One, two, ah, uh, okay. They managed to activate the skill in time but that's okay. 105 million Not great <laughs> I 
Um, I mean, this guy has the new treasure. Whatever, let's do this. The magic compass treasure is useful for gathering out the crescent moon jellies. Oops, I jumped too high. Mokari reminds me of Scorpion with her eyes and everything. But her sliding and jumping sounds are kinda odd. And like kinda sliding. I guess that's to be expected. She? They? I don't know. She's a stingray after all. I've been trying to get a good buff so far but my luck hasn't been too good. But you know what, doesn't matter man, doesn't matter. So, the reason why you play games is to have fun. It's not to stress out too much. But I am very stressed out by the financial situation of my diamonds. It's not looking great. I don't even imagine I had to spend so many diamonds on mileage just to get Longan Cookie to a higher level. I mean, I've got Longan at level 13 now. So I plan to just... Well, I, I guess I'll just see how things go, I suppose. I haven't seen the story yet, but... I have heard a lot of people complaining about the story and how it ends on a cliffhanger. Is the best character out of all the dragons. Me personally, my favorite is Lotus. His very elegant skill, you know. The jumping and sliding sounds so sound great. I like their character. I'm not gonna lose anything from this. I'm already far enough behind as it is. <laughs> Pity me. God, I'm gonna lose so many diamonds here. This is why I should play easy mode. Don't be a gambler, guys. It's not good for your health. Like, at all. I'm very sad. The Red Egg Resurrection Treasure is a good treasure combo to put with Lotus Dragon. I mean, I think it was last year. But Lotus Dragon, when he used to be meta and everything, you would always see this egg pop out. Because the amount of HP points coincides just enough with the pet's cookie skill to give Lotus Dragon enough HP a last skill activation. Sounds like metal, you know? It's sliding sounds. Oh, 
Alright. Boom. I'm gonna open those lotus flowers and there we go. Push. I wonder how many points I get. Mm. Generous estimate, I think about 400. Non generous estimate, 350. I wish I would play breakout, random breakout a lot more if it didn't require diamonds, really. Devs haven't made it that way, you know. You gotta suck about the diamonds. Which I get it, man. But it's just not pleasant to have that feeling of all your diamonds just wasting away bit by bit. It's great that they have the new event which gives us a lot of diamonds. So at least I could afford Lungan to some extent. I feel like the only reason why I'm actually doing this breakout is for content, YouTube content. <laughs> well, I'll only be releasing about one video this week. This one, if this run doesn't go too well, which um, seems pretty likely, then I'll just be releasing one video this week because the next one I'll just be playing easy mode. And I'm kind of tired recently. So there's that too. One, two. There we go. One, two. Oh, I got HP from where? Oh, and the pet just in time. All right. Five hundred twenty-eight million. Not fantastic, but possible. Ten percent faster movement speed. If I'm not wrong, there should be a bonus time. Not long after this. So this garden treasure shield should come in handy. I mean Alchemist Cookie by herself. Oops. Alright, let's pause for a moment. Oh dear, my mic fell. Let me go balance it. Okay. And it's lagging again. Oh boy. There we go. Bonus time. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Look at those delicious points. <laughs> Alchemist Cookie is more of a popular point. More of a popular choice among people mainly because she got buffed just like vampire cookie did so she's actually pretty usable dude come on let's try again eh 
And we're back here again. There we go. Wait, what? No, I missed the eye. Oh no. Whatever. Let's just continue on and see where this goes first. Yeah, I did not know I missed an eye there. Oh. I'm in pain. Why am I so bad at this game? Seven hundred and seventy million. I would like to ask that we pretend that nothing ever happened just now. <coughs> totally. Come on. Just give me just something good, man. Cross one? Alright. I'm 29th. You always gotta wonder who's that guy in the last place of every random breakout. Probably a new player? Just got hit an innumerable amount of times. Or maybe someone who's doing a challenge. Ah! Gotta be careful here. There's a lot of flying obstacles. <gasps> okay, that was close. And we're the last stage again. Clock tower roof. I mean, a mini magnetic aura isn't all that useful, but it's a buff nonetheless. And with cross on, who's pretty good. So, I don't really mind. I got hit again. Uh, Skill activate. Yes. Like tight jumps like that are really not my forte. I can't take those. Cause it requires really precise timing. And I just can't do that, you know. I ain't got the skill or reaction time. It's lagging slightly, but it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Got hit. Anyways, <sighs> okay, I got hit again. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Oh boy. One oh, I couldn't even jump properly. All right, well, let's retry again. Four hundred twenty-eight. I I don't. You know what? As long as we don't make a deficit, this is fine. Everything is fine. Come on, man. Tiramisu. Oh, come on, man. Or we could take a risk and do this. Well, I mean, 
Ah, uh, sure, why not? New York, we have, we have got nothing to lose already. We are 29th. There's almost no way we can get lower than this. It's just a tragedy. Tragedy for my diamonds. God damn. Oh my god. Getting 15th place last time was lucky. Not sure how I'm supposed to thumbnail all my videos now. <laughs> Since you're all such catastrophes, it's a disaster. Ah, my diamonds. Like mate, I love you, I love random breakup mode, but but my diamonds, oh my god. The way they just disappear, it's like watching them go down a drain. You know? Like like You know how ants they crawl down drains sometimes? Actually not ants, now I think about it. Just just bugs in general. You know how the toilet, like, there's always that one flying insect around the place. Kinda looks like a fly, but it isn't. It's like a tiny fly. It doesn't actually do anything, it just flies around. And there's a whole bunch of them everywhere. But you have no idea where these flies come from. You know, I used to get worms in bathroom. Not used to, I mean, there's still worms in bathroom, but, you know. Out of sight, out of mind. As they say. I hit myself. Whatever. It's like, I didn't even realize. There were bones in the bathroom until one day my aunt came over. Actually no, I can't remember. I just I I can't remember who told me there were worms there. I just know someone found it and then told me. And after that I couldn't stop seeing them everywhere. I wanted to retry this again. Okay, anyways. Like they were kinda transparent little worms. You know, kinda tiny. But like they were everywhere, you know, innumerable countless numbers of them just infesting the floor and I was afraid of stepping on them so I did jump around the place I mean I've seen black worms before but very rare usually they're kind of like just the transparent ones they've got a bit of reddish color there it's honestly pretty... I really don't know what to, what to say about it. <sighs> well, let's try again. Well, 4 million more than last time. I guess that's an improvement. Legendary. Yeah, we roll. Nothing good here either. Dude, I just want something decent. Um, why not? Honestly, I don't trust my luck anymore. I feel like if I just skip out on this one, Rambutan cookie, I'll end up getting like a full roll of ginger braves or something. Like me. I love Ginger Brave as much as the next guy, but there's a limit to how much I can take of gingerbread cookies. What did I think about it? I don't think I've ever made or eaten gingerbread cookies before. Like as an honest to goodness 
gingerbread, ginger man cookies, you know? I've eaten these weird dog cookies before, if I'm not wrong. I kind of made, made them with my aunt, my other aunt. Made this like, we wrote dough into these round little things and then we put chocolate. You know like the Hershey toppings, like the little triangles, uh, like wizard hats, you know. I don't know how to describe them. Chocolate drops, yeah put chocolate drops as their noses, eyes and ears if I'm not wrong. It tasted really good. Honestly that was years back. How many years ago? Um, let's see. Definitely one, two, ah three, four years ago. Wow. Well, time sure does pass quickly huh? Before you know it. I'll have even more back problems. And I'll start have to, to go start having to go to the hospital for daily treatments on my hands. You know if you don't take care of your hands properly and use them too much. You get hurt very easily. You know my aunt, well the one who cooked the dog cookies with me. She hurt her hand. I think cause she overused it. Cause she likes cooking and doing housework, you know. And she just used it too much. Apparently she needs to get surgery for it. Ah, oh, I got hit. I feel if I lost my hands, that would be like the end of it for me. I can't survive without my hands, you know. Like I need them to do so many things. Rambutan Is Rambutan going to get a low score then? Iron bot cookie? Well, alright. That wouldn't be fun, but okay. It's a fact of life, I guess. One, two, there we go. 448 million. Let's retry again. Five hundred forty-six million. Wow. Alright. Almost one hundred million more than the last one. Mmm, reroll. Huh, all you milk. Um, but those treasures, though. Do I take the chance? Yes, I do. Now this is what I'm talking about. Haha, <laughs> timekeeper. You know, I spent over like fifty k. I saved up so long. Just to pull for her gacha costume. And in the end, I never got it. The only thing I got was Crozon's super epic costume. I'm still very salty over that day. Because I did over a hundred pulls. Okay. And I got nothing. That is, of course, excluding Crozon's super epic costume, but. You know what, man? Like, like, why you gotta be like this, bro? I spent ah so much. Okay, I spent so much. 
when I got them costume gacha and I got nothing. <laughs> But long story short, that day, I grew traumatized by my terrible luck rates. And from then on, I limited myself. I'll spend a maximum of 10k rainbow cubes at every single costume gacha from then on. I don't even have... Uh, Head mixed up because he's a legendary. Which is just a shame. But oh well. Honestly, I think Devsis needs to calm down with the legendaries. It's like first they had Timekeeper come out. No, not Timekeeper come out, but like, you know, they had Timekeeper go through this gigantic buff and they gave her a costume. Then they had Lychee come out. And after which they buff Fire Spirit and gave him a legendary costume too. And then two months after out came Longan. Which is just like you know I've got not enough mileage for this spending. Like hey man. I'm not a very frugal sort of person, but like, you gotta say. I guess it must be pretty frustrating though, being like a high level free to play person. Then you gotta spend all your diamonds just to get knowledge. Whereas if you like, you're a lower level person. At least when you spend diamonds, you get to max out some other stuff you don't already have. I do be like that sometimes, I suppose. I've actually been playing, not playing this game, but like, I guess the first time I was introduced to Cookie Run Orphan Print, I think it was 20, 2019? Yeah, it should be 2019 or 2018. Just some time back then. And then I just left for a while. And I came back. And by left for a while, I mean for like several years. Three or four years. And then I came back. Like the UI changed a lot, you know. Not really. I actually wish they brought Grand Champion Sleep back though. Like that stuff was fun. You know, and it actually rewarded you for like playing over and over. Because you could switch out your the orange collectible things you got from playing. For I think special cookie treasure chests. And sure, like you know 90% of people won't grind that out but Still, it was a pretty good reward for all those people who bothered to play a second time in a row. And over and over again until they got it. And I got hit. Beautiful. But okay. One, two. 600 million on the dot. Alright. Tenth, next combi. Oh boy! Please give me something good, man. I'm mate. Please, Devsis. Couldn't the Dev sisters have done this earlier? You know, giving me this buff earlier. Like I'm not one to complain, but <coughs> mate. I have issues. Um, is it worth it? But this is the tenth, tenth compi, and basically speaking, it's just 
a single epic buff it won't do too much honestly what's only one um um Walnut, let's go! Alright, let's do this. <sighs> I am a very sad human right now. Alright, a book. Yeah, it should be the one in the middle. Three million. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's not amazing either. Walnut makes a nice sound when she's jumping and sliding. It sounds like the opening and closing of Tupperware. Honestly, like a little swooshing sound. You know it's kind of satisfying when you have that little click sound on the Tupperware When you bash the lid in After a while Okay We search again and A blue bandana Oh, once again it's in the middle I have only gotten to about 160 million by now and this is not a good sign I can tell you as much I may be one of the bluntest tools in the shed but even a blunt tool can tell when the shed is on fire and this dog poop being hurled in through the window we search again and glasses. It's the guy in the middle again. Huh. Alright. Does Walnut have a cookie child? I don't think so, right? I don't think I've seen one for her. But she does have a super epic costume. I wish that like, you know, instead of just giving us new cookies every month, like maybe they could add the actual hard mode trails. Because it's they're always in the corner of the screen, you know, it's like hard mode trials are coming soon. But who knows when? Maybe in another twenty years. Like, this time they didn't even bother to give Dinosaur an actual super, ep super epic costume. Even after buffing him and everything, like, huh? What? Why? For the new app, they literally just gave us Lungan's trial and that was it. Bay, that's it, that's all you have to play this month. Like man, come on, but okay. But it's green, I do is. And 19th. It's wonderful luck. Well, I mean I didn't make a deficit. I got 100 diamonds out of this. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> okay. Well, alright. This is it for today, thank you for watching and this is me Fkosh, goodbye.